cover it by Dr. Bob Bowman, the physicist, the uh, nuclear physicist and the former head of the Star Wars program, Colonel Bowman. He was only allowed to reveal the information because it had leaked in C-SPAN debates when he was debating the, his, his uh, replacement at Star Wars. And he, he said, no, by the late 70s, they had a fleet of robot spacecraft, basically uh, what looked like stealth bombers, but small ones, uh, with DU Shabo rounds. And people are going, Alex, we've heard this hundreds of times. Why are you saying it again? Because if I say the movie Captain America Winter Soldier has a lot of real stuff in it, I don't want people thinking I'm just saying, oh, look, that movie, that's real. When you know about the plan and then you're sitting there seeing it on the big screen, a shadow rogue government run by eugenicist scientists that plans a mass world culling, first taking out the world leaders that they oppose with high energy weapons, kinetic space meteor guns, right out of the last starfighter, which is based, I later learned, on another book from the 70s that was written by a, another army colonel, forget his name, I did research on it, where in The Last Starfighter he goes and plays the video game and he's really being surveilled to see who can pilot the ship and then the aliens come and get him and take him up and then you see Ender's game, you know, basically has the same story. Well, it's not aliens, folks, it's globalist. You've got everybody in these combat simulators being desensitized for war, being, being conditioned for killing, uh, being, uh, being normalized. And then it turns out, oh, the Pentagon in the 50s began funding secret research that in the 60s was deployed to some of the first ground combat simulators for troops. And they found in Vietnam it made people go from 50% of the time not killing somebody up close to 90 plus percent of the time killing somebody. Because if you don't have a killer instinct, you'll be dead Marine, to quote Full Metal Jacket. We're in combat murder simulators, and you tell people that are addicted to them, hey, you know that's a combat murder simulator. And they go, hey, don't talk about my video games, Alex. You stay out of it. You stay out of it right now. That's my games. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've seen grown adults, some of them famous people, I'm not going to say their names, go, you know that's a combat simulator to... Well, no, I don't have any problem with it. No, no, no. For most people, it's an arrested development to keep men from launching till age 28 now is the average age, you can look at the university studies, for men now to launch and to try to get their own house and a woman. I launched at age 12, ladies and gentlemen. I launched and, became, and started acting like a man, getting in serious fistfights, going and, and, and going after 16-year-old girls when I was 12, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying I'm some super male or anything, but I mean, I launched at 12. I was out of the house at 17. I was dating girls in college when I was 15 years old. I see the average men around, and they are literally little boys. But then they act like men and act like thugs. Being a man now is acting like a thug, the media has put out. And women think somebody acting like a thug is a man. A man, somebody that shows up to work on time. A man's somebody that gets up at 3 a.m. and goes and helps their friend who's been in a car wreck. A man's somebody that doesn't back down from tyranny. A man's somebody that has a serious mind and is focused and is aggressive. Not what we see here today. And I'm, I'm going off the deep end here talking about a bunch of issues of mind control. But television, the culture, all of it is mind control. And, I, and I've been talking to a lot of top people. Why in all these movies now is it anti-New World Order, anti-government? Because they know in the polls, Congress has a 6% approval rating. They know by the NSA spying and the big aggregate computer systems that feed all intel in to the supercomputers on record. They can predict the future now. They can predict mass movements. They are trying to give you a simulated fake revolution in cyberspace and in Hollywood and a revelation of the method, externalization of the hierarchy to give you the archetypes of the Herculean hero of a thousand faces so that you can believe that the evil has been defeated as the real evil accelerates. And, of course, even most of the writers and producers of these films, I've been able to talk to some of them over the years, they're allowed to put it out. They're even good people. 
and they don't even know why they're being allowed to put all this out. They're being allowed to put all this out because it's a simulated victory you're supposed to have, not a real one. I mean, I, was, I saw some ad on one of my YouTube videos today that was for a Star Wars game about create your command base, create your fortress. They pick the carpet and the fixtures. And, and, and this is where for men and women to go and imagine their imaginary world, ladies and gentlemen, instead of really building a real one. They don't want you on the game board in reality. They want you in fantasy land, ladies and gentlemen. So that they can tell you, well, you know, uh, Alex Jones is discredited. Yeah, there's no Chinese involvement. There's no Harry Reid involvement. There's no solar farm. It was 100 miles away. It had nothing to do with it, even though the power lines are right there, even though it starts right there, even though there's multiple power stations listed. They just point at one of them and play games with your mind. It's an environmental easement that they can build it right here, and then his land is the agreed upon under UNESCO executive order. And it's in the Bureau of Land Management documents, and they link to them saying we're discredited. See that con game? They say in hundreds of public, thousands actually, because when AP comes out, it's in thousands of newspapers. In one day, I was in over a thousand news articles when they came out two years ago and said, Kurt Demo at Infowars.com and DrudgeReport.com are lying to you. There are no bullets. I mean, there are, you know, 20 million here, 100 million there, but not, not 1.6 billion. Now it's over 2.6 billion last time. And, and it, it doesn't matter that you see every federal agency army. It doesn't matter if you all will purchase orders. They go and play the same game of, look, there's a solar farm here. It's not down there even though there's a whole bunch of solar farms on the map. They play that game. Obama, you know, you, you will keep your doctor. And then I never said you could keep your doctor. And I'm not coming after any guns later. I never said I wouldn't come after your guns. And in private recordings, he says, we're going to get these better clangers. They're clanging their Bibles and their guns. I mean, they're in their private meetings. They're, they're talking about us. We're the enemy. And they're already banning importation of most ammo, rifles, they're harassing gun shops, they're putting micro stamp laws in, they're suing all the gun makers, I mean almost all the big ones. It is going on. And now Obama's moving with an executive order, the word is, they've already signaled it, the Hill newspaper reports, for bracelets and biometrics that will render all the other guns illegal. That's the battle plan. And I've told you that forever, and so has Larry Pratt. They're coming. They're coming. Drums, drums in the deep. And anybody who lives in denial is a fool. And then, I mean, again, I'll be honest with you. If it was just some type of Harry Truman crook who just wanted to get bid rigging on roads and give some money to their families and, and, and make money off of the largesse, I, I would criticize them. I'd be against it. But at least that's building something and skimming off the top of it. The globalists want to deconstruct civilization as we know it as a total act of will and power and a, and, and a hate letter, a defiling mass exterminist vandalism of the entire biosphere code of the planet. They're, they're coming out with GMOs, making plants unable to reproduce in grasses, trees, they're, they're GMOing all the major food animals, the, all the major fish. They're releasing them open air, spider goats, uh, insect uh, crossed salmon with eight other things than the one they released. I mean, just total hell on earth. And you've got the environmental heroes that are out there, you know, battling overfishing and, oh, battling global warming. Folks, global warming, overfishing... Overfishing is an issue, but it's nothing compared to open-air release of nanotech that's already going on. I mean, we, we are not in 2014, boys and girls. The technology on the government reservations is at least 35 years advanced. They admit that. So we're really in what's 14 and 30 plus. Yeah, 44, 45 years. In the, we're 2045. And that's why I shouldn't even be up here worried about Glenn Beck attacking me. I shouldn't even be worried about Rachel Maddow attacking me again last night and all of them basically saying I'm calling for violence and trying to frame me. Fine, if the FBI and the government really wants to frame me or kill me, I don't want to die, but just do it. 
okay? Because you're cutting your own throat. I mean, this is real. What we're going to see happen is over the top insane. We are living in a science fiction movie, ladies and gentlemen. And they are changing the entire genetic code of the basic plankton and the basic diatoms and the basic microorganisms in the ocean. They have got thousands of admitted tests going on of just one type of bacteria in the ocean. They are already changing flora across the board. They are probably going to kill everybody. And they've got the FBI running around all the gun shops to demonize gun owners saying, are people talking bad about the government? Let me give the FBI a little newsflash. I'd say about 90% of the people in the gun shops are buying guns because of the government. They know crooks when they see it. And you already know that. So it's all just a demonization game. And, and you know, maybe you will find some unstable schizophrenic or something that's mad that's going to do something. And then you'll be a big hero and get a promotion. But none of it means anything when they're messing.